Thank you, precious Heavenly Father. I stand here in your presence this morning in the beauty of holiness, in the wonderful blood of Yeshua, Jesus, that has atoned for my soul, according to Leviticus 17.11, Isaiah 53.2-12, and Daniel 9.24-27, Genesis 3.15, Isaiah 60 and Isaiah 61 and Isaiah 58. Father God, I just lift up Israel and Palestine. People call, like the Palestinians are calling Israel, terrorists. Animals' names. Israel are calling Palestinians terrorists and animal names. But Father God, this morning, you love everybody. You have created everybody in your image. That image is Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, the holy, sinless, faultless, pure, Moshiach, Messiah, al Masi. Many people in the Palestinians and Israelis, they don't understand the true crucified, buried, resurrected, ascended, soon coming judge of the world. Please reveal yourself to precious Palestinians, precious Israelis, and all people all over the world. For God so loved the whole world that he gave his only begotten Messiah, Moshiach, born of a virgin by the power of the Holy Spirit. No man sperm involved. Thank you, Father, that you became a man, the Moshiach, to come and live in us. And I pray this morning if people hear God knocking on the door of their heart, then they can hear Jesus knocking and they acknowledge their sins. That Jesus said, I will come in and cleanse you of all your unrighteousness. I will bless you in abundance and take the wild donkey of a man out of you. Jacob was also a wild donkey of a man, just like Ishmael. That's why the Abraham's boys, they are not getting on very well because they are rejecting the crucified, buried, resurrected, ascended, soon coming Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Everything has been created for and through Jesus. Nothing was created except for him and nothing without him. Unto us a child is born, a son is given, and his name will be called Emmanuel, God with us, God in us, wonderful, counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, and the government will be upon Jesus' shoulders, and of the increase of peace there shall be no end. I pray for this peace in the soul's of precious Palestinians in the souls of precious Israelis. The hatred is not only amongst Jews, the hatred is amongst Palestinians, amongst their own people and Palestinians and Jews and Jews and Palestinians. This hatred is in families, in the whole country, in politics, in business. Hatred is everywhere. Jeremiah 79 says there's nothing good in a human being. We are all wicked. We are all sinful. We all have hatred in us. Ecclesiastes 7, 20, there's none righteous on this earth. Isaiah 64, 6, we are all like an unclean thing. We are filthy rags, our own righteousness in God's eyes. And it says clearly in Psalm 51, David says, oh, we were born with sin in our mother's womb. We need to repent and give our lives to the Moshiach Messiah who came 2,000 years ago. Daniel chapter 9 verse 24 to 27. Led like a lamb to slaughter, to make atonement for our soul. And it pleased God, Isaiah 53 verse 2 to 12. He came lowly and gentle in heart, riding on a donkey, the foal of a donkey. Meek, poor in spirit, full of compassion and mercies. Zechariah 9 9. Born of a virgin, Isaiah 7, 14. He's coming back soon. Daniel chapter 7, verse 9 to 13. The same Jesus that came in Daniel 9. 
This time he's not coming back as a suffering lamb, but as the conquering king, the lion of Judah, with judgment. Daniel 7 verse 9 to 14. 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, 17, the dead in Christ and those that are alive at the same time will be caught up together to be with the Lord in the air and put on immortality. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 54 and 55, Daniel 12, verse 1 to 3. Thank you, Father God, to put on immortality and go and rule and reign and judge nations and angels with Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for blessing all Palestinians and Israelis through all the chaos through the death, through the tears, through the mourning, through the torment, the despair, the fear. I pray that you will show them to give them a spirit of love, peace, and a sound mind. Set your people free, their broken and contrite in heart on both sides, Palestinians and Israelis. Destroy the pride and bring humility and bring forgiveness, deep forgiveness, like they do in prison ministry in all the jails in the world that people are being set free. Set your people free in Palestine and Israel from prison and open the doors and give them joy for mourning. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. Bless both sides, Lord, and what the devil meant for bad, bring it around for good. As we continue to search and seek for God with all our heart, we will find him and find Jesus, the Messiah, the Moshiach. Please bless Palestine and Israelis, Palestinians and Israelis. Help them to forgive each other, to love each other, and to help each other so that in Christ Jesus, both sides will be able to say, God is good. Thank you, Father God, for answering our prayers and saving everybody in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen.